Hello, dragons, and welcome back to Project Zoboid. So yeah, you read the title? Let's get to it. So this is going to be for beginners, and we're going to do farming first. So basically, what you need to do is basically dirt, dig yourself a nice furrow. Uh, what you need for this is a... Yeah, you'll need one of these boys uh, here, Trouble. And you're just going to right click and you're going to do dig furrow and you're going to kind of space it out like this. I would recommend to do this because if they do get diseases, at least you have some room so they don't spread like all over the place. Um, I did read that you can basically have two apart and they may not spread over, but some say yes it will. I don't know. Leave me, uh, leave me a comment if you do know if that is true or not. I haven't experimented it, but I'm about to. Um, so we're going to find out. But basically once you have that. Um, one thing to worry about is strawberries. They do tend to get more diseases than anything else. Um, I had a problem with turnips. Well, not turnips, but uh, these boys. What are these boys called? Hold on. Uh, what are they called? Radishes? Radishes. Yeah, radishes. I had a problem with those. Um, I did have to use some mildew on those. Um, and one thing I did notice about this is the mildew spray. Yeah, uh, it's basically an empty container. Empty spray can is what it's called. I only been, I've only been able to find one of these. Um, I haven't been lucky enough to find two of them. But what you would do is just have a milk carton on hand. And I think I have like a bunch of these if you want to see it. Basically a bunch of milk cartons. Um, one of these at least. And I've got a ton of them. But you want to have milk carton on you. And you want to have water present. And you'll just make mildew spray. Like here. And you'll get rid of any disease that shows up. Saying um, mildew. But uh. There's also the insects, and you'll make that with cigarettes and water. Same same concept, just uh, cigarettes instead. Uh, the one thing that I did notice, though, like I was saying before, is when you right-click it and it says do treatment, the thing did not show what it was. And that's because we don't have the skill yet to know what kind of treatment it needs. So the best thing to do is have two spray cans because... Once you have the spray can equipped and that happens, you just go over to it and now it knows that's the treatment it needs. So once you have it in your hands, probably both of them, and then right click and then it will work because you have the thing in your hands. But you don't know that's what the disease is. So that's the best way to find it I've seen. Um, other than that, um, you water them every day. Uh, I usually have the uh, watering can over here and I just kind of put it in my hands and start watering till full. But as you can see, it's raining, so I don't really need to do that. And that's awesome. Um, one great thing about this area, I noticed it rains a lot. That's freaking awesome. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, farming. I can't think of anything else to mention. Um, you will have to, oh, one thing I do recommend is to have at least four of something just to keep the crops going. Because you're going to get to winter time and you're not going to have anything anymore because they won't grow. So it's good to have enough. Um, I usually do about four of them. I'm probably going to do a little bit more for winter, and I strongly suggest that because once you're out, it's it. It's all you got, unless you got cans of stuff, which I do just in case. But And it's also recommended to do that too. Save those cans for a better time because you're probably going to need them in winter time. But yeah, so now I'm going to cover fishing. Let me grab all my equipment, and I will see you over there. All right, so this is after... I did the video. Um, I did forget something with farming, and that is compost. So make, a, make yourself a compost bin, and definitely put any rotten stuff in there. What I did is I went around town, and I collected a whole lot of rotten junk that's just sitting there, and brought it back here, and got compost started. Um, I also threw some worms in here. They do generate worms, by the way. So you will get your worms up, and that you can use for fishing, or catching birds, and all that good stuff. What you will need, though, is a nice sack. And you can get these from either storage places, warehouses, um, hardware store. There's so many different locations. But anyway, you want to go ahead and have one of those and you're going to go ahead and right click your compost bin and say get compost. And you need that sack or you won't get nothing. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get all that and then we're going to go to a crop and I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically you do fertilize and he just throws it on top. Now this adds a percentage of... Um, it lowers your growth time by a percentage every time you do it um, and you can see it in your info window so right click info well watered of course and right here you see it was fertilized once so this modifies it every time 
I don't know if there's a maximum. Please let me know in the comments if there's a maximum of how many times you can do it. But the more times, the better for your growth speed. So good to do. Um, I'm going to do it a few times on these freaking carrots because I need them. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, anyway, so fishing it is. See you there. All right, so living in Riverside is a good spot for fishing because we live right next to it, especially with the home that I picked. Uh, what we're going to do is place some fishing nets first. And what these are going to do, and uh, basically you can get these from the fishing store. That's where I got them from. I'll leave it in the uh, description if you want to know where these are. But they're also in sheds and uh, warehouses and storage places. Uh, you can find them. But anyway, we're going to put those down and we're going to let them catch some bait fish. And that will help us while we do some regular fishing. So for fishing, we're going to need either a tackle. We're going to need some worms or cockroaches. I'm going to use either one and start fishing. So we're going to go ahead and select which one. We want to use the cockroaches first. And we're going to go ahead and cast our line here. So once we cast, there we go. Once we cast, we're going to wait a bit and hopefully we catch some fishes. Um, you can use either worm. You can use fishing tackle. I don't recommend fishing tackle. I just wanted to show you this. Until your level is good. Uh, don't use that, dude. Don't use that. What are you doing? Use the cockroach. But yeah, you want to use the cockroaches first before the tackle. Tackle you can use as many times as you want, but you want your you want your skill up first. Well, I would say about five to seven is recommended, but yeah. So we're going to use cockroaches and hopefully get some fishes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you let these go in. We can also use bait fish too as well. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but what you would do is um, we're going to go ahead and wait until we get something here. Uh, I guess we're not going to get anything, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fish here for a little bit and wait for these to catch some bait fish, and I'll show you what the bait fish are for. All right, so now we're going to check the traps, and then what's inside is going to be little bait fishies. Where are they? There they go, right here. So we're going to use those instead, which is going to be here, and we're going to cast our line here, and now we're going to use some of those and get some fishes. Um, now what these do is they attract bigger fish, I believe, and... Um, I haven't been able to catch anything yet, so, yeah, but if you do get anything good, um, it's supposed to catch bigger fish, which would be awesome, but it's not really giving me anything because my skill is super slow. Well, super low, I mean, not slow, I don't know what the crap I'm saying, but, uh, yeah, so once I start training this, which I did read a book, um, I strongly recommend reading a book before you do any of this because you're probably not going to catch much, so get some skill ups as much as you can. For what you do catch and that's pretty much fishing um just wait it's a waiting game that's about it uh don't get rid of those worms yet because we're gonna need those worms for trapping which i have a lot more success on at this moment so i will see you at the tracking trapping spot all right so these are going to be for birds um you want to i recommend to use worms because that's the best way to catch them there are further uh, there are a couple more options you can use but the best way to catch them is worms um, that's all i can say worms 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 because it's like a higher percentage for different types of food and worms is number one so i believe anyway uh, it's worked best for me and there we go we just baited all of them you just right click you bait and then you wait and i think they get the birds come in about during the daytime, some hour from some hour range. I would just say check it daily, um, anytime during the day, and that's about it. Um, I'm going to show you the rat one, too. Uh, the best thing for rats is um, peanut butter that I suggest um, because it has one of the best percentages. It's also great for squirrels, too. I probably don't even have to show you the thing because it works the same way as that trap. You just put it down. It's called a mouse trap. You just put that down. You put peanut butter in it or... Well, I'd suggest peanut butter if you're going for rats or mouses. But uh, mouse, mouses, I don't even know. Mouse, maybe. What? Do you, how do you say that anyway? But uh, Mises, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, you put down um, a box trap, which would be better for squirrels um, or rabbits. And rabbits, of course, what do you think? Carrots, carrots are going to get them. So I've been planting some carrots, but I haven't got them yet. So once I get carrots, I'm going to try that out. But I haven't had any luck on squirrels. I do know you can put down nuts or peanut butter. And both of those are great. Also tomatoes. Tomatoes are great too. Um, same way you right click and you basically attach the bait. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I have for you. If I left something out, please let me know in the comments. Let other people know that watch this. But uh, I pretty much covered everything that I think I need to cover. As far as crops, 
fishing and trapping. Um, a lot of this I had to look up because I didn't even know what I was doing. So I figured I'd help you guys out that are beginners of the game and welcome to the game. The game is freaking amazing and I can't wait to do even more of this game because as you can see I'm well plotted out. Uh, my skills are doing pretty well right now. I even got, I can now hotwire cars so freaking awesome. And I thank you for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and dragon smash that like button and subscribe. Become one of those dragons. And I appreciate any of the subscribers that have recently subscribed. Huge thanks to you guys. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye for now.